Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World Daily with me, John Jordan. So the news today is that uh, Mini Royale Nations has gone live with its Season 2 NFTs and uh, progression and battle pass, all that sort of stuff. So uh, Mini Royale um, is a browser-based first-person shooter and um, yeah, season, season, season 2 is here. So it's the Cyberpunk uh, 2069 theme. Um, Go and have a look at the NFTs. This is just when you log when you log in, and obviously if you've created an account, <clears throat> um, what you see. So I'm I'm at the massive uh, level of level three, <laughs> just I'm not in a clan. Um, so this is one of the NFTs that I have acquired. This is actually a series a season one NFT. But if we look at um, the events, so we can see season two events are here. So there's some season quests, daily quests, um, some of these other quests sort of turning up. Um, over time um, and a season two, so there's the crypto, crypto punks, um, cyberpunks even, um, and they're these kind of fluorescent sort of coloured uh, characters. Uh, so what else we've got? So battle pass here, you can actually see um, that uh, because I have one of the NFTs, um, I'm getting a boost here. So I'm getting a, basically a 30% uh, battle pass boost. So not a sort of massive thing, but you know the point of having NFTs is, is they let, you know, give you sort of um, extra um, things in the game. And this is just one of them. So here it says here, having a premier NFT in your wallet will give you a boost on, on the BP points. Um, you have to connect your wallet. So you can see here my wallet is running on the um, Solana blockchain. Um, so I'm using the Phantom wallet. So that's my wallet address there. And it's looking to see what I've got in there. Um, so uh, obviously I've not started this yet, but we can see the first thing uh, I will be able to mint is uh, this um, skin for this uh, gun, and then there's various other things. Um, so this is a uh, that sort of in-game currency, not cryptocurrency, but in-game currency, and then there's a whole bunch of these sort of uh, um, skin NFTs. And uh, we can see some of these are premium ones and some of these are um, free ones, you know, typical sort of battle pass. Um, situation. Let's go right to the end. What we got? Um, goodness me! And obviously, you're not going to get this far if you are really committed to playing the game. You will go all the way down here <laughs> and be able to mint out some of these some of these skins. And obviously, if these are um, NFT ones, um, you'll be able to sell them on the marketplace. So uh, let's go and have a quick look at uh, what the season two stuff looks like. So I'm look. This is um. Magic Eden, which is the sort of the main marketplace for Solana at the moment, although um, OpenSea and uh, Fractal are other two other ones. Uh, but these were minted through Magic Eden. Magic Eden and Mini uh, Royale are quite closely aligned. So there are, I think there were 5,555. Um, so th this is what's listed. Um, the floor price is 0 0.94 sol, average sell price 0 0.2, obviously. Um, different attributes will get you different... Um, uh, we different pricing. So if we go if we go high to low, and um, it probably shows some of the more funky ones. So we can see here. I mean, obviously, a thousand sol is a hundred thousand dollars or something like that. So, so I don't think anyone's going to pay for that. And some of these are not so interesting, but some of these are. You know, you get an idea of some of the what will be rarer, um, uh, rarer NFTs. There's a whole bunch of traits down here if you want to kind of go through all that. This one looks like a. I don't know. It looks like a running like a rhino or something. Um, um, and yeah, anyway, get the idea. So um, you don't have to buy these to play the game. You can play the game without any blockchain stuff at all. You can just play the game as a normal game. Um, but if you have these uh, NFTs, you can sort of get things like the boost. Um, there'll also be some staking stuff coming along. So um, you can stake your NFTs and um, get some. Uh, effectively, you're going to earn some in-game cryptocurrency when that goes live. It's not live at the moment, but there's a few sort of things you can do. Um, and we could have a look at. Um, there's the original. Um, season one stuff is obviously still around on the blockchain. So the season one collection was uh, this was all called Vikings. Not that they particularly look like Vikings to me, but there we go. So we have the premium ones here. So these are ones that you um, basically buy, and then there are these loot ones. So the loot ones are ones that you earn in the game. So um, no one's earned, earned any from season two yet because it's only just launched. But over time, there'll be a whole bunch of loot NFTs that people will basically earn from doing the battle pass. Um, so these ones are, um, I can't remember how many they, I'm pretty sure they was the same number, I can't remember how many they minted, 
some of these ones we can see here these are not, not quite so outrageous um, i think these ones are called vikings because they have horns um but uh that's high to low isn't it so low to high so these ones are slightly more expensive floor price 0 0.55 sol um so um but yeah sort of similar similar idea these are yeah, more conventional so um in terms of the game um, we have an, uh, like an attendance thing here, so I've done three of these three days in a row and I'm earning this in-game token. Uh, it's actually not a cryptocurrency. Um, there's still no um, shop, so that's sort of something that um, will be sort of coming, so you can spend various different tokens, I'm sure, um, but at the moment they're just pointing you to the marketplace to buy the NFTs. Um, not in a clan, uh, we've done that, so loadouts are when you can sort of pick um, different characters, so we can see here. It's now looking at my wallet to see, so I've got um, how many have I got? I've got seven NFTs. So I bought three Series 1 NFTs and I earned a Series 1 NFT as well. And then I have bought three Series 2 NFTs. So the ones with the uh, the neon on. So I can pick any of those if I want to um, change that. So now it's going to, when I play in game, that'll be the uh, NFT that I've got. Oh, that'll be the sort of avatar story that I've got. I can mess around with loadouts as well. Um, so I could pick, um, again, I've got some NFT guns, so I could pick that one. Um, I have to click before we click the gun as well. That can work, yeah, so there we go. So now I can go and um, start the game. I'm terrible at this game, so uh, <laughs> I probably won't show you very much of it, um, but just so people can get an idea. What it is, um, and it, I mean, it's very simple, it's a, it's a um, first person shooter, uh, different sort of setups. This is a team deathmatch. Um, and this is the new level, actually. I've not played this map before. So as part of season two, there is a new map. Um, so you can see some people, most people are using default uh, avatars. Some people have got the actual avatars. Um, so here I am. Um, and I'm not going to have a clue what I'm doing because I don't know the map at all. And I'm trying to record as well. So it probably will end up dying pretty quickly. Oh, there, yeah, there already. Okay, so let's leave it at that. Um, so Blockchain Gaming World, uh, getting killed in blockchain games rather a lot. Um, so please subscribe to the channel if you're interested in this sort of stuff. But thanks for watching and see you again.